This video is sponsored by Skillshare. You ever just sit somewhere staring blankly to the air and go, I wish I was smarter. If only there was some easy to use online way to learn. Well, cheer up, Mr. Bandit. Skillshare is here to help. All right. Introducing the completely online, hassle-free learning community that brings its users literally thousands of inspirational classes for people looking to get more creative. I've been using it personally and have really been enjoying the class called Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit and Your Space from Christopher Griffin as I do lots of my work at home these days. I even started growing some bonsai trees for myself for this very purpose, which I definitely planted correctly and are absolutely going to sprout any day now. Please sprout. And since the good people of Skillshare are really only interested in healthy, fun ways to learn stuff, there aren't any ads in videos or on pages, and they update their library with new classes all the time. So you could be learning how to create landscapes, or animate in 3D or 2D, or write songs, or even learn to play the guitar, ad-free, for under 10 bucks a month. So no matter what 2021 brings, you can create something meaningful out of Skillshare's creative library. Because after all, time is what we make of it. So if any of this sounds even remotely interesting to you. Good news is that the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of the premium membership so you can explore that creativity. And now, on to the video. Bandits are pretty cool, and if you don't agree with me, I'm deeply offended. <clears throat> but did you know that there was actually a bandit in Breath of the Wild? No, you didn't see them anywhere in-game, which must mean they were a pretty good bandit, actually. But the very astute fans will recall hearing the name Misko the Great Bandit in rumors across the land of Hyrule, and also the side quest called uh, Misko the Great Bandit. This Misko character was also the author of the EX journal that serves to reveal the locations of some very key artifacts from across the Zelda franchise. But the journal doesn't actually matter to the game's canon. Well, actually, <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> Sorry to scare you, Bandit, but did you forget that we are doing these videos together? Uh, no, of course I didn't forget. <laughs> Uh-huh, well, I'm sure you remember that the bandit's actions absolutely do matter to the game's canon. And that is exactly what we're talking about in my video. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Well, as I was saying, Misko is also the author of the EX journal that leads to items which we'll actually be covering over in the Monster Maze video. So be sure to check it out after watching here. The link to it will be in the description below and in a card at the end of the video. I want to ask a very interesting question about the other great bandit in this video, which may seem kind of silly at first, but becomes pretty convincing the more you think about the evidence presented. And that question is this. What if Misko the Great Bandit is still alive? Take it away, Mr. Maze. Why, thank you. Like I mentioned previously, we believe that the EX journal that appears in the game after you purchase the DLC is actually canon, which we'll go into more detail over in my video. That being said though, if the journal and its items are truly canonically present, then the odd circumstances surrounding their appearance must also be canon. To be clear, what I'm talking about is the fact that the journal seems to appear out of nowhere upon purchasing the DLC. Like, literally, there's nothing on this shelf in the middle of the outpost ruins before the DLC, and after the DLC is downloaded, there's the journal. But this isn't just something to be noticed by the players. Link himself even reacts to its appearance by questioning whether or not it was there before. We know it was not, of course, so this begs the question, how did it all of a sudden just appear on this shelf? Was it moved here or perhaps placed here by someone? Since that is far and away the most likely scenario, then who placed Misko's EX journal here? I think the most likely answer would be Misko themselves, personally. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense for anyone else to be able to do that, but wouldn't that mean that Misko is still alive today? It would, but we're going to delve into that a bit later in the video. I want to pause on that note and switch gears real quick to discuss some clues we can find from the quest called Misko the Great Bandit, which takes place without the game. Game's DLC. You see, Link receives this quest by talking to Prison and Domidac, two twin brothers at the Dueling Peak stable who are discussing the location of Misko's hidden treasure hoard. Actually, Link kind of butts into their conversation, but I mean, since when did he have any real people skills? Am I right? Anyway, for the price of a massive 100 rupees.
Domidak tells Link a riddle that apparently leads to the hidden location of Misko's treasure hoard, which it does indeed do. The riddle that Domidak sells to Link goes as follows. The little twin steps over the little river. My cave rests over that river's source. Now, I know what you're thinking. That is the easiest riddle ever. I mean, the only part about the riddle that's actually even somewhat vague is the little twin part, as river and source are both specific and non-debatable. But if you walk like 10 feet out of the stable, you can see the big twin bridge and right on the other side of it, the little twin bridge. And what is literally the only thing that sits over a river? A bridge. It's literally like 50 meters away and called little twin. Statistically speaking, these kids would have to have an IQ of like two to not be able to solve this extremely easy riddle. Now you might be thinking, why am I going over how ridiculous the riddle was? Oh, uh, I think I know. Go for it, man. Because they weren't actually trying to solve the riddle. But let me back up and point out one other detail real quick. When Domedek tells Link where he got the riddle from, the answer is some ridiculous lineage where the riddle was apparently passed to him from a, quote, former dog walker of one of Misko's underlings descendants' neighbors. Then he says it's as a solid lead as any. The funny thing is, it is actually a solid lead, because it literally leads to the exact location of the treasure. So here we have an extremely simple and easy to solve riddle being apparently passed down with 100% accuracy by a ridiculously vague lineage of different individuals. Quite frankly, the only realistically believable solution to this ridiculousness would be if Domedic and Prison already knew the answer. But why wouldn't they have just gone and gotten the treasure themselves if they already knew where it was? Well, ladies and gents, I present to you the identities of Misko the Great Bandit. The twins? Domedic and Prison? Precisely. Think about it. The random lineage Domedic mentioned may be more than just random. It might be the passage of the title of Misko the Great Bandit. Because, as we talked about earlier, Misko had to have both existed in the past since that's when they were said to be robbed from the castle and that can only happen if the castle was occupied, which it hasn't been for 100 years. But Misko also has to still exist today in order to place the EX journals in the outpost ruins. So what if that lineage Domedic mentions was actually secretly the identities of every previous holder of the Misko title, each of them protecting the secrets of Misko's treasure, leading from the original bandit all the way to these twins. That actually makes a ton of sense. But something's still bothering me though. Why would the bandits give away their treasure hoard and then their precious relics in the DLC? Well, bandit, uh, I mean, mask Nintendo Bandit. Remember how I said that the Misko title passes from one individual or group of individuals to another? What if they were waiting in the stable to find the next worthy individual? For someone to come by and willing to give up a bit of money for the sake of treasure and solve their riddle, proving that they have what it takes to be a true bandit so they could pass along the title of Misko once again. And after they checked and saw that the riddle was in fact solved, they left a journal that reveals the locations of the buried stolen relics, so that they would be under the safekeeping of the next Misko. I mean, Breath of the Wild is full of trials, right? Why couldn't the quest for Misko's treasure and the DLC items be the trial to find the next great bandit? Well, my mind is officially blown. I mean, it's true that we don't have much in-game lore about Misko, but given what we do have, this seems to be the best solution to the mystery. So you're telling me that the current identity of Misko, the Great Bandit, could be none other than Link himself? Hey, if the shoe fits. I love it. And all this bandit talk is making my bandit heart happy. It makes me excited to talk about the EX items, which will be happening over on your channel, Mr. Maze. Speaking of which though, thanks so much for helping out with this fun little theory. Hey man, the pleasure was all mine. I mean, getting to talk about bandits with the masked Nintendo bandit? Who could resist that? Thank you for having me, and uh, if you want to see more cool Zelda stuff, uh, head over to my channel, Monster Maze, and uh, I'll see you there. And thank you guys for watching. Please consider dropping a like to get this video spread around on YouTube and subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on more fun Nintendo content. As always, humongous thanks to my supporters, of which I have a few new faces to announce. Please give up big round of applause for Doza89 and Claire J, who have each joined up with the Great Bandit. Uh, Mass Nintendo Bandit, that is. If you watching are interested in helping the next video come to life, or helping me put some food on the table, please feel free to check out that join button located below any video, or following the links in the description below for my Patreon page. Also down there are links to my social media pages, so come follow me if you want to see updates on my new Akita puppy. I know, he's so cute. That's all for this one, folks, so as always, I hope you have a wonderful 
wonderful rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you over on Monster Mace's channel. Peace!